And at 10, Huggy Wuggy. Huggy Wuggy is the main antagonist of Poppy Playtime Chapter 1. Huggy Wuggy was created by Playtime Co. to be embraced by children. Because you like hugs, huggy wuggy, embracing, yeah. The toy soon became the most successful product of the company, but was eventually modified at some point prior to the events of the game with some form of scientific procedure that turned it into a flesh being with a human brain and organs. It, it made him a monster, basically. His first appearance saw him pretend to be a statue to fool the player. As soon as the player managed to grab the key for the next room and turning the power back on, Huggy Wuggy disappears from his pedestal, and then, throughout the game, he stalks the player from vents or high unreachable places. <laughs> and this mod turns this freak of nature into the goddamn daycare attendant. Now, I'll be honest, the daycare attendant is already normally pretty sus if you ask me. Like this man could use a conversation with Chris Hansen if you catch my drift, but turning them into Huggy Wuggy Wuggy seems like a little much. In at 9, Simon YOC. Simon YOC is an original character owned by at Solid Noise on TikTok. This mod only replaces Sun, but it is still creepy as hell. I know nothing about this character, but from the comments on this one, it is absolutely terrifying. So let me read you some of these comments so you can have context. <laughs> Quote, Oh no, Jangle the Puss Puss has gotten her hands on Roxanne Wolf. Quote, Whoa, she's so beautiful. Good job, really like it. What? <laughs> I know nothing about this character, but I think that it that makes it even worse. I'm hopefully. Actually, you know what? It, it's probably better that I don't know. I don't want to know about this character because the more I know, the more I'm liable for when it's revealed that they're actually a predator. And it ate Shadow YOC. <laughs> Now, while you might think that this Shadow the Rabbit mod is the dark antithesis of the Simon character that we just mentioned, the mod author states that Shadow the Rabbit replaces Moon, and that Shadow is owned by FightMe024 on TikTok. There are no comments on this one, luckily, uh, but again, this is some creepy like, there, there are only a few images of this and the last one, which means that I can't make the numbers too long. But for real, this guy is, is, is kind of horrific lo looking. It, it's kind of creepy. With two likes, 111 downloads, and 1.1 thousand views, I think we can all agree that this is even more likely to be a predator than the last character, hence why they're higher on the list. However, unfortunately, this is not the last original character that we'll be dealing with today, but it is still giving me the heebie-jeebies, so we're just going to move on. And it's 7, Into the Pit Spring Bonnie. If you've seen the cover of Into the Pit, you'll know about this Into the Pit Spring Bonnie, the main antagonist of the story of the same name. And by the same name, I mean the name is Into the Pit, not Into the Pit Spring Bonnie. Either way, this version of Spring Bonnie is basically a nightmare version of the character, except more repaired than the other nightmare animatronics. Because, let's be honest, in this series, a fully repaired animatronic with no damage in the style of the FNAF 1 robots is actually terrifying. I don't know why these proportions and this style of animatronic is just so creepy to me, but it is. And while it may not be as common of a thought to add the Fazbear Frights cover characters into Ultimate Custom Night, well, maybe aside from Fetch, I think that they're worth it. As I'm sure you could expect, this mod is from Elite Robo on DeviantArt, and the post has two links to download the mod from, one being a Discord link and the other being some weird file sharing service that isn't Mediafire or Dropbox, so I personally wouldn't trust it, but hey, it's up to you. And it's six mini Rena. Okay, so this mod is one that we had installed on the Security Breach, but it's ruined by mods playthrough on this channel, and this was pretty damn creepy. This is basically just replacing the sun and moon with colored versions of the mini Rena with, with jester hats on top, and then upscaled to be the size of my nightmares. Now, like, when this was loaded into the game for the first time, I had absolutely no idea, um, that it was, and I was absolutely terrified, but I mean, like, hey, it could be worse. Right? Yeah, yeah, it actually can be. Uh, it's just going to get worse, wait and see. I will admit though that this certainly made the moon animatronic creepier than it was when I, especially when it started crawling around the play structure when I was looking for the generators, I actually screamed and I nearly cried. Uh, I didn't come close to throwing up, which let's be honest, would have made a great episode. Like imagine if I had thrown up on camera, like damn. That's, that's some old gaming YouTuber moment vibes, you know, it's like, Peak Smosh games. Going on to number five, Gary's Mod. And now this one, for me, I, I enjoyed this game. I, I haven't really played too much of it, but it, I know a lot about this game. Gary's Mod is a physical sandbox game. And it's, honestly, it doesn't have any objectives. The player is able to spawn non-player characters, ragdolls, and props, and interact with them with various means, using physics, 
and props that can be picked up, rotated, and also frozen in place. And what do you know they added to this game? You guessed it. It's a FNAF mod. You can find this legit everywhere. The best place is to find it is on Steam. The Fanatics, let me tell you something. I hate scary games, but I enjoy my jump scares. And hey, we all do it for the content, right? This mod just gives me the creeps and you have the free reign to have all the FNAF fun and blood you need for your fill, depending on how much your fill really is. We go by the name of YouTuber Spy Cakes, and honestly, if you watch his video, he will make you laugh, let alone his sense of horror in his videos. Oof. In it for the daycare puppet. This is just actually terrifying, okay? This is like if Baby and Ballora had a kid and it was in the form of a mini Rena, because, well, you're about to see. This is just absolutely horrifying, honestly. It was, it was originally earlier in this list, but I bumped it up because Christ almighty, I don't want to touch this with a 10-foot pole. The mod description for this reads, quote, update, I changed the files and stuff because it was too confusing for y'all. Some didn't even read the note I left, dot, dot, dot. Well, it is what it is. And you're here with a new mod. This time, the one returning is none other than the puppet as daycare puppet. She'll replace Sun and Moon with two different models. You can also have Sleepy Guard Puppet replacing Moon and Sun if you like it better that way. And you know what? I don't like it either way. It's a well-made mod, and honestly, absolutely amazing hands down, but this is one of the most cursed things that I have ever seen in my life. Like, dear lord, why did we think that we had to do this? Why did we have to do this list? Uh, I say that as if I didn't make myself do this list, but like, God damn it, me! Getting close to the end, and in number three, DJ White Woman. This is... I don't... Remember how I said that DJ Baby was cursed, but then it gets worse? Yeah, here's worse. This is a direct quote from the description of DJ White Woman. God, I hate this. One of the worst things to come out of Security Breach. This mod replaces DJ Music Man with a god-awful Spider-Vanessa hybrid. Yes, I hate it too. This is just absolutely horrific. Okay, you're, you're seeing the pictures right now, certainly, and hopefully you're just as confused, scarred, and worried as I was. Because if I have to suffer this, and the editor has to suffer this, you have to suffer this too. And while this number is about DJ White Woman, there is also another mod that I need to mention that turns DJ Music Man into MatPat. Yes, you heard that right. MatPat's iconic Music Man scream was so popular that it got him turned into a FNAF mod. I wish I was a FNAF mod. That would be insane. Can I be crying child or something? I whine a lot. Given like my, my hair, right? Blue eyes and a suit. That would be cool, right? I think that'd be cool. That's kind of a goal of mine now to be turned into a mod. But hopefully something not as cursed as this. Actually, no, it's fine if it's cursed. I kind of prefer it that way. But ultimately, in at number two, Waluigi. The Waluigi mod is something that unfortunately I wasn't able to find on the Nexus or on Game Banana, and I think that kind of sucks. This mod was seemingly the basis behind the security breach but it's ruined by mods video series from Toasted Shoes, because that's the very first one that I saw and it ended up being a load of crazy. This mod wasn't really that well made, I guess, to s for lack of a better term, since after all, the mod just placed Waluigi's model over the Sundrop model and didn't actually replace it, so Sundrop was still poking out at places. And But the mod was seemingly removed from the Nexus. Um, but it was at one point there, so I guess it's good that nobody else is gonna have to deal with that. But to be fair, it's also funny as all hell. I wish I could have played with this mod because, uh, oh well, it's fine. I don't have to deal with it. This is still pretty damn cursed and not anything that I would want to deal with normally, but seriously, what this is, it, it's funny. It, it's hilarious. Um, but still oddly terrifying at the same time. And isn't that the combination we all look for in a woman? I mean, mod, I might have said too much. And finally, in at number one, the puppet. This is two separate mods that work together because, well, they're both made by Bron Bron on Game Banana on the Nexus and turn Sundrop and Moondrop respectively into the puppet from FNAF 2 and Nightmare on from FNAF 4. Quote from the Nightmare on page. This is a Nightmare on model swap for Moondrop. And yes, I know that the legs are disconnected, but this is the best I can get it right now. But I think that the disconnected legs makes it even creepier because it adds a layer of mystical or magical to 
of the game. And I mean, considering how we're fighting against a woman possessed by the sentient living coat of a dead serial killer, I think that a little magic is fine for this series. And I think that you can't really fight me on that point. Plus, then that character ends up getting replaced with a version of the serial killer's original endoskeleton infused body that then also gets filled with his sentient code form. So frankly, put any of this, like any of these mods on this list would actually make sense. Aside from the Huggy mod. I don't think that that fits anywhere. And it's in Scott Cawthon. Yes, that's right. Scott Cawthon is in Ultimate Custom Night. Okay, well, not normally in a sense, but you actually need to install this mod for it to work. But this mod, along with most of the mods on this list, comes from Elliot Robo on DeviantArt, which is honestly the last place I expected to find Ultimate Custom Night mods. So that's why these are all mostly going to be from him. Scott in this mod actually replaces the phone guy, since most of these mods require you to replace an animatronic, since that's just how the code works, but still. Instead of Scott Cawthon talking as phone guy, you get Scott Cawthon talking as Scott Cawthon. It's not really scary in the normal sense, but rather because of the sheer implication that Scott being present in his own world would create, and the amount of work I would have to do to explain it. Only for nobody to care, because it didn't come from MatPat. <laughs> yeah, that's my life. That's why it's scary. In at 9, Fixed Trap. Scrap Trap is one of the most pointlessly controversial characters in FNAF history. Most people thought that it was just a more rundown spring trap, and others assumed that it was an entirely separate character. Which in some ways makes sense, given that Scrap Trap's head is much larger than spring traps, but then that caused a load of people to think that Mike was spring trap, and that's simply not the case. But this mod from, again, Elite Robo replaces Scrap Trap with a fixed version of the spring bonnie suit that he's wearing, which makes it seem less scary in theory, but this is, it's highly unsettling. It's so smooth and the head shape is so odd. It like looks like you're looking at a skull. I get uncomfortable looking at it. So yeah, if you want to fix Scrap Trap that still sets you on edge, use this. Now for God's sakes, please take it away. And it ate Alistor. Hasbin Hotel is an American adult animated web series created by Vinny Vizipop Madurano on YouTube. It was made entirely by freelance animators and is largely financed by his Patreon followers. The official pilot was released on YouTube on October 28, 2019, and on November 6, 2019, Madurano stated on Patreon that there was no release date for the second episode yet. By by August 2020, the show developed a dedicated fan base, with the 31 minute pilot receiving over 61 million views as of May of this year, a rise from 32 million views in May of 2020. On August 7, 2020, it was also announced that A24 had picked up Hasbin Hotel for a full television series. Alistor, the radio demon, is an overlord of hell in the show. His voice sounds like it's coming through a radio, complete with static, sound effects, and theme music. He offers his services to Charlie in order to help her maintain her goal of running the hotel but only for his own amusement. And they're added into Ultimate Custom Night by Charlie B. Jr. on Game Jolt and replaces Funtime Foxy. This is the only mod that's made by a different mod author on this list. I'm sorry, but that's just how it worked out. In at seven, Sploinkus and Yoinkus. Now, I really have no idea what these characters are, but I included them uh, because they aren't. there aren't really that many mods for the daycare attendant, okay? So... Anyway, the name also reminds me of the TikTok trend for like the What do you think, Wankus Bunkus? Kill him. Oh, you naughty Wankus Bunk. You know that? The, the Wankus Bunk? Yeah, that thing. Anyway, <laughs> the description reads as follows Quote, This mod replaces Sunbot and Moonbot models with the critically acclaimed Sploinkus and Yoinkus. No further comment needed. Gonna be real, I don't know what's up with the mod loader stuff, but I'm going to assume it works fine with this. All you need to do is extract Sploinkus.zip and drag pack chunk 34 dash windows no editor dot pack into FNAF 9 content packs under your games installation directory. That's all it says, okay? Although I do have to disagree, there is further comment needed because I have no idea where these came from or whose delusional mind thought that this was gonna be better than the original animatronics. Then the comments don't help either. Someone said that the mod doesn't seem to work until they renamed a folder. Someone said, no way. And another person just replied with, lol. Like, what the hell? Can someone actually help me with this, please, for the love of God? Like, what is this? Who, who did this? Whose brainchild birthed this? This is wrong. And sixth, Twisted Ones. 
Yep, you heard me right. You can have the twisted animatronics in Ultimate Custom Knight for the simple price of replacing a couple animatronics. The ones this mod from Elite Robo adds are Twisted Freddy, Bonnie, and Foxy. There isn't a Twisted Wolf specifically. I think that Foxy is meant to be Twisted Wolf, except just more themed. Like, but I don't even know if there was a Twisted Foxy. I didn't read the book. <laughs> My sister has it, I just haven't borrowed it yet. However, Elite Robo has mentioned in the comments that they're willing to add additional characters in further mod updates if the models get released. Since currently, the model are from a Steam community page. And since this was already an update made back in Halloween 2020, it's been over a year, so I'm sure that other models have been released. It could also help explain why there's no Twisted Wolf and instead Twisted Foxy, there was just no model for it. But if you want to make a model of, for like Twisted Chica or something and send it to Elite Robo, I'm sure they'd be grateful. Halfway through into number 5, Small Head Freddy. Small Head Freddy is a mod that I'm currently using in the Security Breach But It's Ruined My Mod series because honestly, it's incredibly odd having this guy with a tiny head. It, it makes every moment incredibly entertaining even if it's supposed to be serious. Like when he's laying on the ground and he needs to go to parts and service and he's like, Superstar. Like that, that, that's actually hilarious when he has a tiny head. It makes everything a joke when you're supposed to be crying. And then, for some reason, in parts and service, his head is like normal sized. Uh, I mean, like, it, it makes sense based on, like, game mechanics, but it's lame. Make the game harder for me, please. Like, I want to see how precise I can be with my mouse clicks. Or, let me use one of those, like, giant magnifying glasses that are, like, floating on, like, the boom arms, basically, right? That you see in, like, all of, like, like, they're in the Santa Claus, right? When he's trying to, like, read the clauses on the on the, the card and they have to keep bringing the bigger ones like that. Yeah, let me do, let me use one of those. That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be sick! Mostly because I just, I love torturing myself emotionally and mentally for your entertainment. Although, I do have my limit. Like, I won't actually torture myself unless it's really worth it. People keep suggesting that I get a Sheikah tattoo, but that seems like torturing myself a little too much. Eh, maybe when gaming hits like 10 million subs, I'll do a Chica tattoo. At least, if they haven't fired me yet for suggesting animatronic whoopee. And for Dark Spring Trap. Oh yeah, here's here's where we're getting to the good stuff. Dark Spring Trap in Ultimate Custom Night is a mod that replaces Rockstar Chica with Dark Spring Trap and RS. And Rockstar Chica's sign with a spare puppet mask. Dark Spring Trap is basically Spring Trap after the FNAF 3 fire, but before Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. The concept of Spring Trap is already pretty dark, with a serial killer getting trapped inside of an animatronic suit, unable to die because he's being possessed. But combine that with the whole FNAF 3 fire burning him slightly, and then you have some decent nightmare fuel. Spring Trap isn't really that scary of a character, but Dark Spring Trap certainly helps make him freakier, especially because most of the actual William body in this model seems to be gone. It's mostly an empty shell that actually technically makes him more of an animatronic than the original Spring Trap, since normal Spring Trap isn't an animatronic. It's just a dude trapped in an animatronic suit. I'm gonna, I'm, I will die on this hill. Spring Trap is not an animatronic. He is a dude who has just been augmented, basically. Facts. Going on to number three. And honestly, this guy's, I swear to, like, I swear to God, this is my favorite. Not only because I have him tattooed pretty much like all over my arm here. Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi 3. Now, like I said, it is my favorite because why it is friggin' Dragon Ball and it's Tenkaichi, like, bruh. Tenkaichi was one of my favorite childhood games and it followed the Dragon Ball series all the way up to GT. Let alone now you got a FNAF mod where the Fazbear in this game is just beating the heck out of people. But wait, there's more. He also fuses with Super Saiyan Blue Goku, which y'all know is the form after Super Saiyan God Red, right? And that just makes the Nightmare Saiyan bear. You know what I'm saying? So the fact of having this mod is just dope as hell. When a command man is activated, you get the bear face just loaded up on the screen when he does the blast. Kanikachu, hats off to you, my friend. You've done well for this mod. And this mod can actually be found at Kanikachu.com. Can ultimately end at number two, Fan Game Trio. The Fan Game Trio mod pack is a mod that replaces Toy Bonnie as Pop Goes the Weasel, Toy Chica as Candy the Cat, and Withered Bonnie as Ignited Bonnie. These characters are from the three popular fan games, Pop Pop Goes, Five Nights at Candies, and The Joy of Creation. Ironically, all of which are coming to the Fazbear Extended Universe thanks to the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative, which is certainly interesting since this mod for Ultimate Custom Night was released in 2019, meaning it predates the announcement for the Fanverse which occurred in 2020. So technically, this mod in a way could in theory be canon, but I'm not even going to get into that. Because let's let's be real, that would drive me too crazy. I'll let Matt Pat handle this one, even though I know for a fact that he won't because 
come on, he shouldn't even try to step to me. <laughs> I, I say that only because he has absolutely no idea who I am, and I'm okay with that at this point. But yeah, if you want to experience the Fansbear Extended Universe, there you go. All you need to do is get this mod by Elite Robo again, because of course it is. And finally, in at number one, Bago Puppets. I think we all know how I feel about the puppet and the various different fan-made versions of the puppet that we've discussed on this channel, particularly the Reaper puppet. Luckily, this mod does not feature the Reaper puppet from the Final Night series, but rather the security puppet and the stylized puppet created by Tofu Kaj. That, that's probably not the right way to say it, but if I say it the way I'm guessing it's really pronounced, we make it demonetized. However, this mod replaces Nightmareon and the puppet respectively, and honestly, that's all I can really say. The stylized puppet in this game is absolutely terrifying, and I hate that this thing creeps me out so much. I feel like I'm the phone guy. My favorite animatronic is a version of Foxy, that being Grim Foxy, and I'm always creeped out by alternate versions of the puppet, just like the phone guy thinks that the puppet is always thinking. But luckily, these animatronics aren't real and can't actually hurt me. I think, man. Whenever I end up having a kid and like they want to go to Chuck E. Cheese for some reason, they're always going to wonder why I either say no or I'm extremely cautious around these goddamn animatronics and the people in the Chuck E. suit. Like, they won't understand the struggle of having to talk about this series day after day. This series is gonna mess me up more than high school. Oh yeah. And it's in Roblox. Like you should all know at this point, okay? If you think I care about Roblox for anything other than paintball, you're wrong. Frankly, I don't really care about paintball all that much either, okay? No matter, the mods technically aren't mods for this game, and they're just their custom game modes. But you know what? It's pretty scary how bad some of these are. Yeah, that's right. For right off the bat, I'm talking scary bad for the first number because you know what it's goddamn Roblox and it's not paintball now if there was a FNAF Roblox paintball maybe this would be a different story but the good old days of team deathmatch and capture the flag seem to be behind me honestly a couple of these Roblox servers are actually kind of good but others like FNAF roleplay I'm telling you like not even we could make a theory on those okay and we milk FNAF more than literally any other channel on the internet you going back down to number nine to Sims 4 bro Sims? Nah, like if you're an avid artist and don't mind taking the time to build characters, you can turn your Sims character into FNAF characters. Not only can you make the animatronic Sims, you can actually download a mod to do all the work if you don't even feel like building. Following YouTubers, Lauren Z side and BJTG use this mod, built by Kitty Candy's mods. They really dive deep into how the FNAF mods get into business. BJTTG has more scary vibe, more of kind of like a birthday party ominence going on where you see the kids and they think they are having a good time they're laughing and playing with the Decepticons just waiting to transform whereas Lauren Z side did a series on the Sims build and locations also did a storyline definitely a great mod for the Sims if you're looking for that more realistic feel or should I say simulation feel and definitely a good watch I tell you for the FNAF fans in a day GTA 5 GTA 5 is probably one of the most heavily modded games that I've ever seen from mod menus and story modes to even online, but all the real fun mods unfortunately only work in single player because online is a cesspool of another kind of crap. But let me tell you, okay, watching Freddy Fazbear running at you with a sniper rifle is probably one of the craziest things that I have seen in this lifetime. And the only thing that can really top that for like scare factor is if I saw that in real life. Like just some dude popping out of an alleyway wearing like full FNAF animatronic suit and then charging at me like even with like just like a Glock. Like hell no, okay, I'm not doing that. It doesn't even have to be like the purple guy, okay? It's like giving these animatronics even the slightest hint of a weapon will make your white pants brown. It's like that scene from The Amazing Spider-Man where he was like freaking out with the knives. He's like, oh no, that's my weakness, small knives. It's that, but like actually legit because it's an animatronic with a knife. Like why would I want that? And it's seven, DJ Circus Baby. DJ Music Man is one of the coolest additions to Security Breach, which is why it makes me concerned that they're turning him into other characters, particularly DJ Circus Baby. Quote from the mod author RSH Vlogs on YouTube. This mod replaces DJ Music Man with Circus Baby. The boss fight looks so cool and scary. And straight up, these screenshots are haunting as hell. They seem to have adapted the baby model used in Help Wanted, but made it even more cursed by turning it into a giant pseudo spider. And you know what? 
fucking hate it. I despise it with a burning passion. What the living Jesus made you think that this was an okay idea? My brain does not want to even think of how this concept inseminated your brain. And then was birthed just through sheer buffoonery. Okay, her hair pokes out of the size of the tunnels. That's terrifying. Why would you forsake me like this? And we're not even done the list. I, we're not even halfway through. I just, I, I don't want to look at this anymore. Can we move on, please? Or like, does the video need to be longer? <laughs> And it's six, Among Us. Among Us is a fun game, and it really shines when you're playing with your friends over voice chat or with various mods like the Town of Salem mod or the Proximity Chat mod. Some of you might remember the Among Us phase that we went through on this channel. And while Gregory might have been acting a little sus when venting throughout the Pizzaplex, there was no real Among Us style gameplay and security breach aside from that reference. If it was a reference, at least. However, that didn't stop people from actually making Among Us mods for FNAF. I think even before Security Breach released at that, there were actually a a lot of mods out there for FNAF, either be it retextures for maps, tasks, and outfits, to even new roles in maps like Vanny and Freddy Fazbear. Technically, the imposters are kind of like Vanny and William to begin with, right? So like a color change here, a little name change there, and boom, the imposter goes from red to purple, and then you're the purple guy. It's certainly an interesting one for sure, okay? Circus Baby's a little sus though, okay? Sar venting cams. Halfway through into number five, old sun and moon. Swamps out textures with edited ones to make them more creepy. Still based by preference if it's creepy, is the description for this mod. And honestly, it's incredibly accurate. And also the foundation for these lists, okay? If it's creepy or scary is based on preference. So I don't know why people keep commenting stuff like, this isn't scary, because you know what? It might not be scary to you, but it could be scary to someone else. So stuff off. Anyway, this old texture for Sun and Moon is hella creepy, and honestly, I'm kind of glad that I didn't have this one installed, otherwise I might have actually come close to puking. Like, this this one is hella creepy, dude, and like, even just the sun is bad. Wait till you see the moon, too. Like, it's they're both cracked, like, mosaic tiles or mosaic or wh however you say that word. Like, tiles or like, they look like stained glass, and it makes me hella sus. I, I don't know how I feel about this guy already, but I, I feel like this guy is going to grab me in awkward places and then I'm gonna get cuts all over those places because he looks like broken glass. I'm surprised that he didn't just fall apart in the ball pit, like one little flick and this dude crumbles. They just really seem to be after my fastballs. And I'm gonna keep making jokes about how creepy this f is because honestly, I don't like it, okay? He, he's, it's wrong. He's messed up. In it for Skyrim. Oh, you guys know me, I love me some Skyrim. And if you don't, you obviously need to subscribe because I love me some Skyrim. But you all had to poison it with some goddamn FNAF mods. Seriously? Like, come on! Can I not have one thing that's safe? Oldrim specifically has the Chica from FNAF in Skyrim lol Nord female mod, which honestly makes me worry about Chica. Like, I love Chica. We all know this. Glamrock and Toy Chica can suffocate me at any time with those glorious thighs, but this is just no, okay? She looks like if the Simpsons had like a glitch or something. The description of this mod is also April, your mother, say goodbye, which makes me worry about whoever April is and their mother. Plus, the permissions and credit section for this mod just says lol help. Yes, please do help because I need some goddamn eye bleach after that holy living tombstone son of a. It's messed up. I'd rather have the spirit of my son possess my body and cause me eternal suffering rather than play with that mod. Getting close to the end in number three, Hallow's Eve. Now we're starting to get to the collections, which definitely are going to be at the top because let's be honest, the more the scarier, am I right? <laughs> instead of the more the merrier, pardon the pun. Elite Robo made a mod for Dreadbear and Grim Foxy from the Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted DLC Curse of Dreadbear that replaces Nightmare Yawn and Ennard. And we all know how much I love the Help Wanted DLC, especially since Grim Foxy is my favorite animatronic at this point. But these animatronics are definitely going to be freaky being added to a game when they hadn't really been created yet. Oh god, imagine the lore that would come from them being in this game. I don't care how many jump scares or whatever that I have to deal with, the scariest part of Five Nights at Freddy's will always be the lore, no matter what, okay? If it has any lore implications, no matter what it is, I will run away screaming. I mean, I would run now, but there's kind of like a, a wall here, so I can't run. 
Penultimately, in at number two, Boneworks. Boneworks is an incredible game, being basically the VR Gary's mod. However, this game already freaked me out thanks to that, like, goddamn sewer level. And now, apparently, there are FNAF mods for this game, letting you spawn in countless spring traps or freddies to see who would win in a battle of the armies, or to see how many you can destroy without getting your own handed to you. Honestly, this is a mod that I looked into downloading multiple times since I wanted to play this game and the only way anyone cares about the content is if it's FNAF themed. I also wanted to punch Springtrap in his goddamn stupid face. And also, yeah, that's right, I'm calling you guys out because all you care about is FNAF. Come on, switch it up. But honestly, I cannot work out how to mod bone works, okay? Melon Loader seems too complicated. It's not on the Nexus. Okay, like, Security Breach has a Nexus page but not bone works. Come on, bro. I'm just trying to have some fun beating Springtrap with my bare hands. That also may sound like a euphemism, but it's not. And also, if I get yet another mod, I can beat Springtrap with my bare hands. Going on to number one, and you know, we are the crafting crew, so we're gonna have to talk about Minecraft. Yeah, you know we just can't be here, me, Crafty J, and the King Cheese. Oh, nah. Now, nah, but this is also the FNAF channel, so I guess, you know, we still gotta talk about a little bit of FNAF, right? But yes, if you look on CurseForge.com, what are you gonna find? A FNAF mod. And when I tell you, if you enjoy Minecraft, and of course FNAF, but hey, what if they had a baby and put it together? That's what you're gonna find when you go on Curse Forge, you know? Because you have the fave Foxy and the mascot Freddy, you know? You and your friends will have a great time with this mod. It's gonna be a game changer, even down to the security breach. Yep, Minecraft has it. And you can't forget about my homie Brian, which y'all will find out about in the Nightmare channel. Who is homie Brian? Y'all questions will be answered over there. But just you wait, Minecraft Nightmare about to be popping. And it's in Fat Vanessa. This mod is what made me want to do a whole security breach, but it's ruined by mods playthrough. Because Fat Vanessa is just a whole load of WT. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Available for download on Nexus Mods, the description for this mod reads, quote, Despite the fact that she's in the game for next to no time at all, I had a mighty need to make some chonky Vanessa. This is obviously for a niche audience, but uh, turn back if this isn't for you. No, this does not include Vanny, which I mean, I guess makes sense since... Actually, no, it, it doesn't make sense. Like, maybe the vanity suit is just, like, high-quality compression fabric or something, because holy lord is Vanessa huge with this mod. It certainly helps me, uh, since typically in a playthrough I would be a Vanessa simp. I, I don't know, man. Just something about the sass when she's interrogating Freddy, and then she's, like, being all sarcastic, not to mention the baddie side, and I think we all love a girl who cosplays. I, I just, I don't know, okay? It does something to me. Luckily, though, this mod kind of stops that, because it's not really the same person anymore. It could be worse though. It could be like I was there for her after her father died and then she started But uh, that would never happen, right? In a nine glam rock sans. Freddy, but with a sans head. That's kind of it. Also compatible with clean animatronics. That's the description for this mod. It's spot on. This is just glam rock Freddy with Sans's face. I don't know what else to, to really say about this. I mean, I could point out how disturbed I am by this now that I've made the cringy fanships list uh, since people were shipping William Apton and Springtrap with Sans. Um, but why, why would I make you and myself relive that trauma? Oh, that's right, because what the actual holy living <laughs> Putting Sans in Security Breach really concerns me because, like, who the ever-loving hell thought that it wouldn't result in something incredibly concerning now? Because w this opens the door to now Burn Trap and Sans shippers. And this isn't something I ever wanted to revisit. However, it, th it's looking like an impossibility now. Okay, for this number, I'm making my own category of mods. This number is for any mod that makes any of the characters bigger. And in this case, I typically mean thicker. There are quite a few, and it's honestly kind of concerning. Beer Belly Freddy and Monty, for example, but what I really mean is Thunder Thighs Vanny, Thick Vanessa, and multiple mods that, let's say, Enhance Roxy and Chica, sometimes separately, sometimes not. There are separate bigger Roxy and Chica mods, but there's also one on the Nexus that makes both Chica and Roxy bigger in certain areas, as the mod author describes it. 
Like, I understand that sex sells, but like, seriously, why with animatronics? Like, uh, honestly, Chica is already pretty damn thick, especially Toy Chica. And Roxy seems to already have a lot of fans based off her original version. So, why do we need to, um, expand them? When we can just leave them the way they are and admire them for they're naturally constructed by man and made out of plastic figures. Or, hear me out, okay, we don't worry about that at all. Unless I'm talking about Chica, okay? I don't know if I'll be talking about Chica like this until I get a girlfriend, or me talking about Chica in this way is actively preventing me from getting a girl. Oh well, you know what, either way, at least I have Chica until I don't need her anymore. <laughs> But going on to number seven, we have Left for Dead, and yes, this one brings me way back. I'm taking it back to the old school, cause I'm an old fool who's so cool. Yeah, this is definitely what is cool, right? Yeah, let alone scary. And I love horror zombies. Playing the original, oh, it was great. This was the zombie we all was going to play. We waited for. We we didn't want to play COD zombies, let alone you needed an Xbox or a PC just to play this game. This was definitely one of the staple zombie games we have now. Zombie Army, even the new. Dying Light series, but none of them have FNAF in them. So this is what makes this game a little bit more gruesome, because you could have the animatronic horde. Excuse me? What type of hordes? Animatronic hordes. See, now zombies are tough enough to deal with already, but now we have them paired into our beloved game. If I could speak candidly, this FNAF add-on mod is kind of stressful, bruh. Like, I gotta be killing zombies and robots all the time? Like, what if I just wanna chill one day, dog? Nope, no chill for you. You just gotta be evil all all the goddamn time. And at six, Minecraft Pig over Freddy. There are a lot of over Freddy or instead of Freddy mods for security breach. It's part of why I think the Choose Your Guardian DLC would be pointless and won't happen. This Minecraft Pig over Freddy mod is certainly something weird. Quote, ride a Minecraft Pig in security breach. That's the description. And I think it makes it pretty obvious. Instead of riding inside Freddy when using him like a mech, you're instead riding on a Minecraft Pig. I don't know how this looks on like the parts and service table and honestly I don't really want to know but this is something that I definitely want to add to the series on the channel now because damn it's weird. I mean, probably like one of the weirder ones on this list. I should have put it higher but while a Minecraft pig might be weird and these, these next ones get disturbing. And you know what? Since we're talking Minecraft, and frankly, I need this number to be a little longer, why not come over to Minecraft Nightmare and give that channel a subscribe if you do indeed like Minecraft, okay? It's all Minecraft all the time. It's basically all the top 10 gaming goodness with myself, Jay, and Herobrine. So, yeah, do that or be banned from watching this channel. I'm wearing the crown for a reason. Halfway through in at number five, scrap Orville Elephant. Orville Elephant isn't a particularly scary character. This remains the same for the rest of the mediocre melodies. However, this scrap Orville mod using a model by user Holo Paxum is honestly terrifying. Scrapping animatronics always makes them scarier. And with the lore implications that the original Orville added with some of his death lines in the game, I can only imagine what a scrap Orville would add. While the page does doesn't explicitly state it, I'm guessing that the mod would replace the original Orville to help him look like just more of a scrap animatronic. And to be frank, this is probably the scariest scrap animatronic that I've seen, even if it is fan made. Ooh, should we make like a scary fan made scrap animatronics list? I think that would be cool. Oh, I'll write that down. In it for Megarena's Mega Pizza Plex. Now this is probably the biggest mod on this list. Basically, this mod changes the entire map, or a majority of it at least, from Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex to Megarena's Mega Pizza Plex, which is ironic since the original name of the character is Mini Arena. It also changes Glamrock Freddy into Mega Arena, which is far more disturbing than I imagined. Ah. As the description on Game Banana says, this mod replaces a big number of assets relating Freddy to Mega Arena ones. It took a lot of time and I had many great people to help me out with stuff. I hope you like it and please do check out the people that contributed. Of course I couldn't change every single asset but I tried to do as much as I can. I also don't have an infinite budget meaning I couldn't get all art replaced. Oh, uh, and by the way, any mod that I don't mention is from the Nexus does come from Game Banana. Okay, including any up until this point, but this is still an insane mod, so t t thank you to the creator, Springy, as well as the artist Star, Judy, Gumchu, and Maz. It's still, it's still kind of weird though, got to admit it, because it kind of comes out of nowhere, but it's well done. Getting close to the end in number three, Nightmare Sun. 
This mod replaces Moondrop with Nightmare Sun. This creates the Sun Transforms into Nightmare Sun mod by RSH on Game Banana. And let me tell you, this is one hella freaky character. Honestly, this is one of the freakiest versions on this list. And if it wasn't for what's coming up and some slight memeage, it would 100% be the number one pick. This mod somehow completely removes the feeling of a creeper or predator out of this character and replaces it with actual terror. I don't know how the hell I would be playing this game if this were a part of it. And honestly, if this wasn't supposed to be a Ruined by Mod series instead of like Security Breach but it's actually Scary series, I would have been all over this mod because it genuinely makes the daycare sequence horrific. Especially if you aren't me and don't use the whole gamma up screen brightening trick. To, to actually get through it as fast as possible, okay? I found that very beneficial. The first time I tried the daycare, it took me hours, okay? I wasn't good at it. I wanted it to be easier this time around. But with this installed, I, I, I don't think I would ruin the mod with that. I would just use the flashlight, but it's terrifying. And ultimately, in a number two, Security Breach Endgame. Have you ever wanted the FNAF Security Breach cast to be the Avengers? Yeah, me neither. Never really crossed my mind. But nevertheless, here comes ML Spence 3D and Security Breach Endgame, a mod that changes each FNAF character to be a different Avengers member. Now, Chica is Black Widow, Roxy is Black Panther, Gregory is Spider Man, Freddy is Iron Man, Monty is the Hulk, and Vanessa is Loki. However, considering how Monty dies, it, it should have been. Him being Black Widow, because you know, he, he falls. The two scenes are very similar. However, I understand why they went with him being the Hulk instead. It makes more sense for the rest of the game. I don't know why this mod was created, or why anyone thought it was necessary, but damn, it's actually pretty impressive. I kind of want to do a Freddy Fazbear Iron Man suit cosplay now. But like, an, a normal Iron Man suit with Freddy Fazbear colors. But like, my 3D printer isn't big enough for that yet. <laughs> Plus, there's actually a really sick release trailer for the mod, so uh, take a look. And finally, in the number one, uh, not modest animatronics. Now this is another mod that I felt the need to put on this list, okay? And I can't actually say the name of the mod without getting in trouble from the gods above. Those gods being Susan and the rest of YouTube staff. However, this not modest or not clothed animatronics mod is very concerning to me, okay? People keep DMing me, telling me to download this mod, but I literally can't. This mod removes the clothing on both Chica and Roxy, leaving them exposed. So, clearly, it's not a viable option for a YouTube playthrough, although a Patreon one isn't out of the question. Either way, what the living hell? <laughs> Firstly, why is this a mod? Secondly, why are they so well endowed? Sweet heavens to Betsy! At least, if you're going to make this mod, make it realistic. Like, they must be wearing some high tier compression fabric. Like, they must be wearing some high tier compression fabric like Vanny if you're using the Fat Vanessa mod, cuz yowza! Plus, apparently, from images on Google, there's also potentially a, a Monty version of this mod, giving him some well-endowed chest articles as well. Like, what the hell is up with that? I mean, I guess I'd rather see that than animatronic schlong.